Oh, I don't like the way they've set this out. Let me get rid of this. Get rid of all of it. This is, you know, you want something to be dead easy and it's just not working at all. Right, so I've got something less than 13 is 0.35. I'll find the value of the for this. So if it's 0.35, it's down. It's before the exit's a half. So I'm going to do an inverse normal. I'm going to switch it to the standardized where the probability of z is less than z is 0.35, right? So, <laughs> the board keeps doing the wrong thing. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Right, so if I do, if I do menu two, distribution, normal, inverse. So if you look at the picture, it's a left-hand side. The area is 0.35. Why is it, why, why, why is it just good? Oh, 0.35. When this lesson's done, I'm just going to go out and I can't deal with it. So that's giving me a Z value of, my calculator's gone, minus 0.385. So minus 0.385 will do it. Now then if you use the z equals x minus mu or sigma, so my z value is minus 0 0.385, or more accurate if you want to be. The x value is 13. Mu I don't know, sigma is 3. So it's 3 squared. So I've got minus 0 0.385 times 3 is 13 minus mu. So if I rearrange that, then mu is 13 plus 3 lots of 0 0.385. The completed pack used 0 0.39 and they got 14.17. So it would be around the 14.17ish. But I've given up. <laughs> it's killed me. It's killed my will to live with the thing going all wrong. So I do it like that. Get your z value, stick it in the formula, z equals x minus mu over sigma. This formula the z equals x minus mu over sigma is kind of given, but it has like a, a divided by root n on it. So it is kind of given, but it isn't. So you better to remember it. Right, so what I've got here now, so this similar idea, but it's finding sigma. So I know that the mean is 50, I'm looking at bigger than 57, and the area is 0 0.05. So I'm going to switch it, so the z, and I don't want the probability that z is greater than z is 0 0.05. Now we did that, didn't we? That's the, the 1.6449. So we did that before, but I do an inverse, I do a right hand tail. The area is 0 0.05. So actually, I'm going to do it. So I've got my inverse, it was a right tail. There's 0.05, what's a 6? 1.6449. So my z value is 1.6449. If I use z equals x minus mu over sigma, so my 1.6449, the x value is 57, mu is 50, but this time over sigma. So if I just switch them over, sigma, is 57 minus 50 over 1.6449. So I'm still in the calculator and get the calculator up without destroying anything. So what I've got, so menu, menu one, menu one. And then I've just got seven over 1.6449. That gives me 4.26. So four point yeah, four point two. We can say four point two five six. So we're after sigma, what am I? Sigma 4.2, forgot what the number is, 5, 6. There. Right, let's get rid of this one, do it my way, because my way is always better, clearly. Uh, right, so I've got my picture, 35 in the middle, less than 22, so it's down here. That's 0 0.17. Switch it. To the normal, so I want the probability that z is less than z 
is 0.17. So I'm doing the inverse normal. So then we to distribution normal inverse. Left hand tail, uh, 0.17 gives me a z value of minus 0.5. Oh, it's gone. Ah, 9542. So z equals x minus mu over sigma. So minus 0.9542 is x, which is 22, minus 35 over sigma. And we're going to manage to fit this in somewhere at the side here. But can you see it? Switch them over, and then sigma is 22 minus 35 over minus 0.9542. Let's give that a go then. So menu one. So 22 minus 35 makes it minus on top, and then minus 0.9542. Z value of 13.62. Sorry, sigma 13.62. There we go. There's another example. Let's have a look at that one. So that's question four. Now I might stop and do this with a sapped up um, because it kind of creates two different ones. Oh, we can see how it goes. Right, so we've got, we don't know sigma or mu this time. Yay. So let's have a look at this one then for less than 42 is 0.15. So if I change it to the z, I want the probability that z is less than z is 0.15. Right, so if I go to my calculator, I'm doing, so menu 2, f5, f1, inverse. It's a left-hand tail. The area is 0.15. Work, 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 work. It's, no, no, I don't want to do that. Remember that number, minus 1.036. So it gives me a z value of minus 1.036. Is that right? Hang on. I've just calculated doing my head in. Just ditched the calculator when I wanted it. Minus 1.036, yeah. So then, going back to the calculator, going back to this. So z equals x minus mu over sigma. So minus 1.036 is my x value, which is 42 minus mu over sigma. So if I multiply through by the sigma, I've got minus 1.036 sigma is 42 minus mu. And then I've got mu minus 1.036 lots of sigma is 42. And I've got something which I can solve simultaneously, eventually, number, number, equals number. So that's good. Right, so let's have a look at the other one. So the probability that x is greater than 58 is 0 0.05. Switch it over, if you can read my writing. Greater than is 0 0.05. I'm just going to pause it and get the z value. Right, so on the right, with a 0 0.05 is 1.6449. Pause it again. Sticking it all back in, into the, the equation, so 1.6449 is 58 minus mu over sigma. Pausing just while I rearrange it, put a blue box around it. So here I am now, I've got a formula at the bottom there. I need to solve both of these simultaneously. So if you stick it in simul, the chances are you'll get something like mu is 48.21. It might be slightly different because I've used better values and these are rounded answers. And sigma is 5.97. So just for here, with this one, I had two, two unknowns. I had to find mu and sigma. And because of that, I needed two equations, which I created from doing the inverse normals. They're nice then. Right, I'm gonna go and try somewhere. Bye.